Hello guys, I bought a TPMS sensor, okay, tire pressure management system. So this is I bought from Philippines and it's very cheap, okay. Uh, and this I bought when I buy, the brand name was Jansai, okay. But when I receive, I don't see any brand name here. This is, I think it's a generic. Uh, this box shows solar charging, USB charging, pressure monitor, tire pressure monitor. Uh, color digital display yeah, anti high temperature i don't know whether these are uh, included in these sensors but i'm sure this one can me measure the tire pressure okay so there's no any model also i don't see anything nothing in the back side so this is in, uh, in external sensor okay this uh, this uh, tpms system you can get with the two types one external and one internal so external is something like this you can see ex these are four sensors for four tires sometimes you can get five sensors for the wear the spare tire tire so i didn't buy that one so uh, that is a little bit expensive because of extra sensor okay now you have front left front right uh, rear left rear right okay these are already mentioned in the sensors okay and you have uh, you get a receiver okay there's no any brand name i can see something is called a uh, usb uh, 100 a6 for a uh, watt i believe for uh, no, sorry 5 watt as you can see input dc5 so how you power this one from your uh, car display i will show you shortly and this is a uh, serial number so there's no any brand mentioned here that's fine and you get to get a free usb 128 gb uh, usb so you can get the apk file inside i will show you why, why you need the apk file shortly and you get four uh, nuts this four nuts two anti tip okay you can use the nut here and tighten it with the sensor then uh, no one can it and you get you get one spanner okay and the manual so manual is something like this and you have you will see your tire pressure and the display and four uh, four sensor this is external sensor this is internal sensor and uh, you get receiver okay so you get with this box the receiver four sensors and nuts and double tape and the spanner these only things and for the internal you get the internal sensor so internal you need to remove your tire and remove this one okay and you have to install the internal sensor here so it's too much work and you have to spend additional money if you're doing it in the tire shop okay so i use i choose the external sensor so if you use this nut while uh, this is a uh, front right, I will use this sensor here. This is my front wheel and right side. You have to first put this nut and second you have to tie this one. Okay. Then it will be like this inside. Then use this spanner, put from here and you have to tie this nut this side. Then it will lock. No one can steal the sensor. Okay. But I don't use this nut because if I go to tire shop to fill the air, I need to always use this spanner. It's too much work. So I don't want to use this uh, nut. So I will use without the nut. Okay, just remove this cap. And tight it. Okay. Keep it s slowly and slowly you tight. It should be very smooth when you tight. It's not should not be hard. So when you uh, tight, you will lose some air. So make sure you tight quickly. When you hear the air sound, air leaking, quickly you have to tighten. So you see it did not tight properly. It keep leaking the air, so you have to put it. front uh, right I already installed okay uh, I don't hear any air leaking sound okay how to uh, install the front left okay so remove this cover because I got some time to install my front left there's issue with the tread so this is sensor i want to say something guys this uh, in the uh, external sensor you can actually uh, remove the battery and if the battery is low you can 
uh, replace it but in the internal you cannot you have to replace directly sensor okay so if you want to remove the battery uh, re and replace you have to you can use this uh, spanner and you can remove like this the sensor and just remove the battery and replace with it so you can continue but anyhow this uh, battery will last three to five years but i'm not sure even the when you buy sometimes the sensors uh, battery very low so I hope this is waterproof make sure it's tight properly okay then here you can tight this one tight quickly if you take time the air will leak anyhow the small amount of air will leak so that's why you have to tight quickly okay put directly to correctly to your uh, tread okay make sure it's smooth and tight it fast okay so you don't hear any air leaking so it's fine don't tight too much because you have to remove it when you fill the air so we'll go to so this is rear right and i have now rear left so i'm in the left side i remove this cap Sometimes straight is not good, you know, it's very hard. Oh, okay, guys, I tied this one so because the sensor is new and my tire uh, thread are new, uh, also new, so it won't sit properly. So, make sure you take your time and do it, okay? Rear right. Okay, if the sensor, sensor doesn't sit properly, so what you do, you keep this one steady, straight, okay? Not like this or like this, just straight. Push from your finger, okay? Keep it straight and tight it. Sometimes it won't go. So, I did many attempts to properly sit. So, you must hear a little air leaking, then only it will sit properly. Something like that. Okay, now done. Now let's go inside the car. Let's install this receiver. Okay, guys. Now I'm inside my car. Okay, so this is my uh, car uh, radio unit. Okay, this is Android. Android. It, this is Android 10. I believe the version is 10. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, Android version is 10. Okay, this is TS10 head unit okay seven inches okay guys so guys now uh, what we do we have our uh, box inside we can find the usb okay this is a usb i believe you all understood how to install these sensors it's very easy remove the uh, the plastic cap of your uh, air valve and tight it your sensor okay so now if i in my car i have two usb connection which is connected to this uh, head unit okay so what i do I have the APK file, the TPMS APK application inside the USB, which is came with this box, okay, from the manufacturer. Uh, then I will connect the USB here, okay. Okay, well, guys, I have connected USB. Once I connected the USB, you can go here, the file manager, under USB, you will see the application okay and uh, before you install you need to install your receiver as well to usb okay since i have two connection of usb okay to my car uh, radio i will use this one for the permanently for the receiver it has to be keep connect okay now i will connect that one okay i my receiver connected to usb i will keep it inside my glove box so i don't want any more okay so what you do you can see here uh, there's one APK here, one, two, three, okay, and four. There are four APK files, so which one you need to install? Actually, you don't want to install everything because there are so many APK which is old, old application. You can see 2021, this one, this is 2021, this is 2023, and this is also 2018, so which is uh, support for the old Android version. So this is not too uh, new, this is 10, now I believe it's 14 also. So, but 
you know sometimes uh, if you android version is old some application doesn't work properly so you can try to install this all the four and you can uh, use whichever is working okay so i know i better i uh, i use the new one 2023 i will just only use that one and in this usb you can see there are installation uh, video uh, menu uh, the notes everything there you can if you want you can use it so i will use this one i will install it and is installed i will open it you may have make sure you are connected your receiver to your usb okay so it's this is how it's showing your screen okay guys so when you come to first time to this screen you will see two point with the bar the measurement is bar you can change it you can go to tpm uh these are not touchable nothing you nothing okay so only these two buttons you have to use for the setup tpm is set up so here you have pop up alarm if you on pop up alarm you will have a, a, a notification here if the tire pressure or the temperature is too high or low Tem temper uh, temperature high the tire pressure is low tire pressure high you will get a notification okay and with the uh, sound okay i will show you shortly and you can hear adjust the temperature example your tire temperature now it's showing 75 celsius okay now if, if you will get a notification if the temper example let's see our temperature is right now one tire is 50 okay i will set up the temperature below 50 then you, i should get a notification so so you got here so when tire it is showing that one of the front rear tire temperature too high so it will show with this alarm okay so i will keep my temperature to 60 when it's reached 65 something or 65 it will show uh, what is the temperature type celsius fahrenheit whatever you like i like celsius i will keep the high uh, pressure alarm so if when you when you uh, feel the air in case you feel mistakenly high uh, like a lot of uh, air so you will get an alarm that the pressure is too high example you have 33 pressure but you feel to 36 or something so it will show you alarm that now pressure is 36 you have to remove some air okay before that i will show you tire pressure type i have in bar i will change to psi that is what i prefer you can use whatever your preference okay so in my case the by default it's selected 45 so i don't want 45 i just keep like if the pressure is reached to 37 so i need an alarm so i am aware so low pressure this is important thing the when the pressure reached to uh, 30 so it uh, 31 you can see here front left front front left this tire has low pressure it's like uh, i believe right now this is 31.6 my alarm set up to 31.9 so i will keep it like 30 or uh, 29 no i will keep like 20 yeah 29 when the pressure reached 29 i need an alarm okay so it has a low battery in case your sensors four sensors has battery low it will show me alarm abnormal connection alarm display if you if you bought a fifth uh, sensor uh, five sensor one you can use the extra one to your display data and on this unit so you will get that one also so you have a restore to default once you click this all setting will be go back to the uh, default and this is version information that's it guys okay then you have next step tire exchange now example guys now you have installed your uh, sensors um, in case you install mistakenly front left to front right front left uh, right to left something you still don't want to remove the sensor and uh, fix it back from here you can adjust okay if you want to change the sensor example another example you go to tire shop you you rotate the tires but you don't want to remove the sensor and you know whenever you remove and put it back you lose some air you know that is like pain actually uh, so in that case you don't want to remove always so by se so, uh, application you make you can change this if you select you want to change front to right right to front you just uh, press to change that's it it's got change okay again okay, i'll keep it back if you want to uh front and rear you want to change this way you just keep like this press okay 
it's very easy and this is what only in the tpm is set up and id code pairing this one no need to use because you will see the id number of your sensors all the four sensors if you select one tire i mean it is not paired in case if in case if did not pair by automatically you can pair it okay and maybe you can try to pair with the new sensor in case if you lose i don't know maybe it will not work because these sensors are connected to your receiver directly it's uh, connected i mean bind because if you have same sensor with another car it should automatically connect right if this case i don't know i'm not sure you can try if you have another uh, car with a different sensor you can try to search here whether it will connect or no but i'm sure it won't because once you lose one of sensor you have to buy new one just you can try i'm not sure 100% that's it got here